G'day guys and girls, Kieran French here, back with another Friday live chats with friends. Ah, what a day it's been, absolutely shit. It's been raining all day, so I was caught up off work pretty early, so that was pretty good. Um, today, doing the same thing as I always do, I'm chatting with another person, and it is a full driver, this is a full drive content one I'm talking to today. We're talking all things mental health, forward driving, business related, whatever else is sort of coming up in the conversation. I want to try and keep these conversations flowing at all times and getting more people involved. So if there is any questions that sort of pop up and you want to ask or anything that you want to talk about, we're all for it. So today I have Michael on and he has an awesome four-wheel drive. We've been trying to tee up some four-wheel drive trips in the next couple of months, but not sure if we can sort of do it. That's all plan related, but I'm going to get him on today and we're just going to talk a little shit some mental health stuff, how lockdown was treating him, what else has been happening, and the things that he would like to do in the future. Um, so we've got a lot of questions coming up, so hopefully we can get him straight into it. If anyone isn't watching, my name's Kieran French, and I am from Melbourne, Victoria. So we've been in the most lockdown state in a long time. We are currently out of lockdown. Um, just a heads up to anyone, if you see me try and throw uh, a treat, um, I do have the dog in the background. Um, he's trying to find some treats, so I'm trying to keep him entertained at the moment, so it's just me and him tonight. So I'm sorry for advance if you see me try and grab him or tell him off, because uh, he's only just learning and he's only 10 weeks old. He's currently underneath me um, trying to sniff out some treats. So we'll get him on to, let's see if we can get a request in and uh, get this live chat flowing. Hopefully uh, everything is all good. See if you can send me a request, dude, and then we'll go with that. Um, yeah, pretty shitty, shitty day today. Uh, Melbourne weather, turned it on once again. You know, one day it's sunny, the next day it's not. Uh, so that's always fun for us. Hopefully you can get this one happening. But yeah, um, these live chats I've been doing for the last couple of months. I'm reaching out to... Content creators, forward drivers, because that's my niche. Um, doesn't have to be forward driver re related. It's going to be any type of niche. I just want to get out there and just talk to some people about their mental health and what's been happening and how they were affected by COVID and their lockdowns and if they weren't affected and what they were doing and what keeps them motivated. Because right now, uh, for us, I'm motivational. For myself, my motivation is pretty low and I know it can be hard. It can be pretty, pretty much a struggle. Sorry, I'm going to throw a treat because he's annoying me at the moment. Hopefully, he can go find that one. As you can see, he's trying to get up in the chair. I'll pull him up for a second because he's being a turd. Everyone meets Spike. This is Spike. He's trying to sniff around. You can go find some more. Goodbye. Goodbye. Have fun. Oh, um, sorry. He's going to be a little turd tonight. I'll try and do the best I can to try and keep him away from the camera. Uh, let's see if I can get off-road. Hopefully we can get on. There we go, dude. I'll send it. Nice and easy. We're going to get into this one. Same as before, we're going to be talking, first off, mental health, what's been happening, how he is, how is, uh, I guess, he's feeling. Hey, dude, how are you? Going oh, on. Going on. I'm good. I'm good, dude. How are you? Yeah, doing well, man. You're trying to get me on for a little bit. I have. We have been talking about, just talking about chats and doing some forward driving in general, but um, I'm glad that you jumped on board, dude, and we're, we're going to get this rolling. Absolutely. No, let's do it. So first off, your name, your Instagram handle, and where you are currently living. So off-road affiliate, um, and yeah, I'm from down southwest Victoria in Warrnambool. Cold, windy, horrible Warrnambool, but we love it. Uh, sometimes it's good, dude. I know the feeling right now about uh, cold and rainy, because it is raining down my way. Um, Absolutely. It's a bit shit at the moment. So I'm assuming you didn't go with the boys this weekend going forward driving? No, no. I've got a man in the shop, so I work at Thai Power. So, um, yeah, awesome. the boss is out hunting this weekend, so I told him I'm man in the shop. So miss out on a week of wheeling with uh, Keegan and, and the crew. So, yeah, you got to take those sacrifices. <laughs> Sometimes, take yes, you do. You do have to take that sacrifice to get that extra coin so you can modify your forward drive because I know – you and I are exactly the same. We're always in the shed trying to do something or outside welding something. So, yes, I feel oh, your pain. Sometimes it, we just have to make those sacrifices. But my question to you right now is, as for lockdown, how are you feeling, dude? Are you, are you 
feeling okay? Like, are you feeling happy or a bit sad? Like, how are you feeling in general? Well, I guess, yeah, like lockdowns in Victoria have been pretty, pretty hectic. Um, I think, yeah, as a, as a country, we've uh, copped it the worst here in Victoria. But I myself haven't really been locked down. Like, life has been normal. It's been still going to work every day. Like, tyres are an essential business. So, yeah. yeah. Doing that, I still got my online gig going. Um, yeah, life doesn't change. I'm still heading out, feeding horses, chilling with missus. We get out on the weekends that we can, and yeah, feel for those people in the city. So, yeah, it was pretty crazy, but that's good that you still got to get the chance to do the things that you love to do. Um, yeah. Otherwise, my feeling of not being able to do the things I loved definitely was a struggle. So, it's good to hear that you had the chance to still do those those awesome things that you. I guess, take for granted sometimes. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we did have short little stints, but, um, yeah, I mean, the town was always quiet, like, through those harsher lockdowns, I guess. But, um, yeah, in general, we didn't cop it too bad. Like, we were pretty lucky. We had those couple little scares and whatnot, but I definitely feel for you guys, like, up in the city and, yeah, like, the surrounds. Like, that's crazy. Couldn't imagine it. Yeah, it was uh, crazy times, dude. And uh, I'm glad we are somewhat out of it. Um, or they're saying that we are out of it. Um, I'm hoping we can get the chance to actually catch up and do some for, um, some four-wheel driving. That'd be sweet because I know I may be coming down your way for the end of the year. So hopefully I can uh, plan something with you and we can do some type of catch-up. That'd be awesome. Um, yeah. Working. That's, uh, you did say you're at the tyre power, the power factory, tyre factory. Is that right? Tyre power. Type out. Sorry, put the words out. <laughs> Type out. Yeah, no, that's it. Yeah. Yep. And you and you you're working full time there at the moment and just smashing tires out. All day, every day. No, Monday Very to good. Friday. I generally yep. get but uh, yeah, like I said, filling shifts this weekend. So yeah, on at awesome. home. But... That's. A, I think. I think that's sometimes a thing where if you don't sometimes take that, I guess extra shift the next time round when you actually need it off they go hang on you didn't help out so hats off to you dude that you are helping us this weekend because i know there was a big crew going out to the hot ways uh, keegan was telling me about it there was more than 20 cars and uh would have been an interesting weekend considering your background of your window how, how wet it is yeah i know it's crazy <laughs> yeah you wouldn't believe it like that was nice and sunny this morning and she's uh yeah Pretty, pretty wet now. I think they're going to have an interesting time. It's going to be insane. Cool. I, I hope a couple of them have some good snatch straps and recovery gear and winches or whatever else because someone's going to get bogged for sure. <laughs> oh, guys going in there. That's a pretty serious setup. So I'm sure, sure they'll get stuck, but they'll have a bloody good time getting out of it. So They will. They will. That's the main thing. That's the main okay. thing. So you did mention on a business there. Um, is this a side gig that you're currently doing? And if so, were you still running it through COVID or the lockdown situation, non-lockdown situation for yourself? The online business? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, that's completely fine. I base it all around my uh, passion for forward driving. So I'm essentially getting to use what I love, like my, my passion. Yeah. Forward driving, adding content. I've got on board different companies but um all in all what we do is um yeah through a platform and we we work with a company to sell their products but yeah, yeah awesome. the opportunities we get to um yeah to basically use whatever we like to to promote it all which is which is rad yeah i think uh it was a traveling campus they have the same platform as yourself um uh, I'm pretty they, sure. are they your mentors is that right josh and michaela are my mentors yeah such good people they're massive inspiration and um yeah i mean like that's that's a massive part of what we do is um yeah as team meetings we all work together and yeah i mean if you've been following uh myself you'll see on my stories that uh, we do that quite often and it's su it's such a good high man just getting in and it's always so positive i think we have been talking about this for a while now i have dabbled in it and i know you want me to jump across <laughs> and join the crew so I have been, you have been twisting my arm, so uh, I'm going to have to consider it soon. Um, <laughs> I've got to a point where I wouldn't mind starting a, my own business 
um, yeah. and getting out of uh, the nine to five or, or I work to six to three thirty, which is pretty good actually, but um, working for myself. So then I can do the stuff that we, we do or dream of four wheel driving content, we're creating whatever it could be for the weekends. Cause I know at the moment I'm working for the weekends and you're working on the weekends and hopefully in time your business kicks off that you do not have to do it again. And yeah, you, you do whatever you want. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. We're taking off in, in early February next year, heading to Tassie for a couple of weeks. And um, that's going to be a bit of a sort of, I guess, work it out, work out how we go traveling or myself and the missus anyway, together. So if you're put it together. <laughs> you're nah, going to be test. Yeah. Definitely well, going to be putting that trailer to the test. I guess a good, I have to work out how we do it. Like we're not taking, <laughs> Or the or the trailer to Tassie, but oh right. After we get back, we're thinking about taking off for a couple of months and see where it goes from there, man. Yeah, awesome. Some awesome stuff planned ahead. That I would say would be a wicked trip if you if you do get the plan to go ahead and do it. Um, I guess we'll go into some fun questions now. We're sort of on that topic. Um, for yourself, I know you're always busy on the weekends, and the guys that you hang out with are always building stuff. Um, do you ever have the chance to sit down, unwind, and ever watch some Netflix shows? And if so, what do you watch? Occasionally, when it's wet and windy here, which is always, as you can see. Um, <laughs> no, if I'm, I don't have a shed, so if I'm not working on the car and it's raining, I'm not doing a whole lot, either inside editing videos and whatnot. But, yeah, when it's on Netflix, it, whatever's trending, absolutely, Lucifer cop to hiding. <laughs> Very good. Um, and, yeah, I guess the the usuals like Squid Game and all. Yep. Yeah, whatever, whatever's going, whatever's talk. Awesome. No, sometimes yeah. you do need that that I guess unwind to get yourself back into a better mental mind state. So then, when you can tackle those stupid ass bolts that don't seem to want to go on properly, you get it on the next time. So yeah, I feel ya. Yep, you I know, do that sometimes too. <laughs> Uh, here's a good one for you now we are well you're not in lockdown but obviously out of uh lockdown situation you said you were going to tassie is there any other major trips that you would like to do in the future and if so where would you like to go all the iconic spots that's that's an easy one i mean you see everyone posting photos like yeah if you're following four drive content creators and people traveling and nomads and all that sort of jazz on instagram like you get you get the buzz like you want to go to those places those places that everyone posts. and yeah i mean i want to go everywhere from fraser which is i mean a few people i'm following do that every day like every weekend go to go up to fraser and bribe and all that and like that'd be sick but yeah to go and visit just all those places just do a lap would be sick i feel i i i want to Maybe we could tee it up. we do it all together. That'd be sweet. I, I want to do exactly the same thing. But at the moment, I just, as you can see, I've, I've bought a house. So my uh, my money is, is getting poured into that at the moment. <laughs> That's a good project though, man. Congratulations on that. That's sick. We're getting there slowly. Hopefully, uh, I get the chance to put a hoist in and a, an extra bit of the shed. So if you ever do come down my way and you need some stuff done, we'll get it. We'll get stuck into it. Bloody oath. Let's do it. Get some beers in the shed. Get it happening. Yeah. How's the dog? Oh, man. So if you see me twitching my head, I'm not, I don't have a nervous twitch. The, currently, the dog is having a little spaz. He's, uh, he's got a couple of lollies, uh, some treats I'm trying to feed him and uh, keep him entertained. I'm trying to throw him out so he keeps going away because otherwise he'd just start barking. And um, he's been pretty good. He's learning pretty quickly. He's about 11 weeks old now. He knows yep. the main stuff, sit, stop, stay. Um, he just loves socks. Um, don't know how many socks I've gone through so far. He's he's currently he's currently watching me asking when the next treat's going to come out. So yeah, um, one sock and the dog takes the other. Eh? <laughs> yeah, I literally <laughs> you'd be one of those things where you you put it on the ground, you put it into the basket, and you turn around and he's he's pissed off with it. He's uh, <laughs> he's getting pretty good with that stuff, and then try and chase him around the house for the next half hour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I must say that's the puppy. You know, Yes, you have some furry friends as well, don't you? Certainly do. Yeah, don't go anywhere without me dogs. So they're part of the family. They've got Wally. He's a 10-year-old Kelpie. 
Um, he's a bit of an interesting character. He's got he's been kicked out by a cow, so he's got a bit of a fringe where he's had a, a skin graft. Oh wow! We always get questions about that one, and um, yeah, Myla, we've had her three years now. But yeah, she's just sort of losing those little puppy tendencies that you're dealing with now. So you've got a couple of years left. <laughs> <laughs> awesome! Just awesome. <laughs> Yeah, so he'll keep me. He's keeping me entertained at the moment. Uh, I'm sorry if you, if I, if anyone is watching, why my head keeps twitching around. I'm trying to keep the dog and keep the conversation flowing at the same time. So I'm very sorry about that one. Um, here's a good one for you. As you are the weekend man, just like myself, you love working for the weekends. On your weekends, what do you do other than forward driving? That is a project that you like doing. I know there is one that you do do because you sent it to me. So. You could probably talk about that one. That's if you you know where I'm going with it. But is there any other projects that isn't about four wheel drive related that you do on the weekends? Oh, I've got too much going on, dude. <laughs> um, you be at Colorado. I, I am. Yes. <laughs> there you go. So yeah, I've got a 2010 Colorado as well. A um, little bit different. I didn't go up. I went down with this one. She's um, bagged, stretched on a. Early Rodeo frame, so Alice going in one and good friend of mine, Mike Warren, was his fab. He's uh, working that one for me. He's getting all the uh, the chassis work done. Once that's done, we are over and doing some of the sheet work and yeah, putting touch on it. But he's doing an absolutely epic job with the chassis. I've been in that car in maybe two years though, so I'm starting to miss it. Yes, um, they do some awesome work. I've been following their page for a long time now. And, um, when I got into mini trucking, I'm pretty sure I met them uh, down at the Melbourne Mini Truck Meet. I don't know if you ever met, went down that way for a, a meet one time. Um, Big hike on yeah. a Tuesday. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the, the worst part is, out of this situation, I really don't know how we haven't bumped into each other. Like, we're into four-wheel drives. We both have mini trucks, or so we're building a mini truck. We've been to the scene before. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, yeah, it's just so weird. <laughs> hey. You're into bikes too, am I right? Mountain bikes. I am, yes. I do have a couple of motorbikes, and I do ride mountain bikes, and I used to race BMX. So, yeah, we have – it's so weird, man. Yeah. <laughs> Such a small yeah. world, and then I guess when you start, I guess, connecting with it yourself and other people, you realise that the niche is – so small and you meet new friends new people and obviously it just snowballs from there so yeah like right. i said if we get the chance to actually go out do some forward driving bike riding whatever it is that'd be sweet and i really oh. hope one day this is a good one i get my lux out you get the rodeo out and we actually go dragging down the, st the street and we take some good photos and some videos of it but yeah you have no <clears throat> excuse me how keen i am to get like turn the km up <laughs> Yes. Sitting on the chassis. I don't even have, like, body mounts, but... <laughs> like, there are... Yeah, that'd be awesome. Do you, do you have, like, an end date when you want to sort of get it somewhat done? Yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'd like to, yeah, roll it on the trailer and take it to Cruise to the Pines next year. Yeah. That's mid-Feb. I think. Yeah. Yeah. I think it, I think it is. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. That one. Look, since I the house, um, the Hilux is, I would say, in an okay position, really. Uh, there is a lot of uh, dandelions <laughs> and weeds growing out the wheels at the moment because it's pretty much aired out my parents' driveway. Um, yeah. Last time I drove that thing, oh, maybe two years ago, and I drove it pretty hard. I had... I think it was 10 mil drag blocks underneath and they all like paper thin when I finished with it. So um, <laughs> that was the last time I drove it. And there's a lot of things that need to be done. Uh, yeah. I really want to do the rear tub again. That's all sort of somewhat started to rust because I have left it and my passion now is forward driving. But when I started, I guess, into car stuff, yeah, mini trucking was the thing. And that's what I've always loved and uh, I want to get back into it. So who knows, I might just come down for a cruise just in a patrol and hopefully uh, – get some ideas and jump back into it. Absolutely, man. Yeah, next time I head up to, uh, was it, will be hopefully to uh, do the body mounts or hopefully mount the cab or get the gearbox cross member in with luck. 
So, um, yeah, if you're around that time, I'm free, we'll go to a cruise up there. Hell yeah, that'd be sweet. It'd be good to see it. It would be so good to see it in person. Like, that's the one thing um, the scene of Australia doesn't sort of get into. I know it's very big in America. Um, nah. Australia's, Australia's scene is all about four wheel driving touring. Uh, when you say yeah. mini truck, they go, hey, what? What's that? And then, <laughs> yeah, and then they see that that bag. Is it the 80 series that's bagged or the 60 series? Can't remember. Oh. Toyota. Yep. And they go, what? <laughs> yeah. People are buying a lot. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. And I must say, have you, have you ever driven a mini truck before? This is a good question for you. Yeah. yeah. How good is the looks you get? <laughs> oh, snap next everywhere. Yes, the best rolling next. Part of it for me, like four driving, I guess, like driving down the street and like a parent walk past a little kid, and you can just say it's like they're so stoked on it, and you can see that they're going to be absolutely hooked when they get older too. That's what they're going to throw all their money at. Like you see the passion light up in their eyes. Like I remember I was a bit like that when I was little. Like it was just with bike riding especially, like watching your idols ride and then I mean, when you meet them, it's like, holy shit, like I'm actually here, like, and looking at that progression, that journey. That's what it's yeah, all about. It is that. That's that's pretty much how I got into it. So my dad builds hot rods or has always been a passion into hot rods. And then I went to the Phillip Island uh, cruise, I can't remember what it was called, anyway, um, and there was a bagged single cab Hilux there. It's green and white. It's called Tonka. And that yep. thing laid out on the ground. And I was like, I want to build that. And my <laughs> dad was like, what? Are you serious? What? I said, I want to build one of them. And yeah, that's where my passion started from. So yeah, I understand where you're coming from when it comes to lighting up someone else's passion or eyes and getting them, I guess, hooked into a, an idea that they might want to do in the future. I guess it's the same with forward driving. There's a lot of younger generation watching our stuff was what we do. And they say, hey, they can do it. Why can't I? And they're the things that we want to drive for people to do, really, to get out of, I guess, sitting behind a computer or a phone and, and actually try and build stuff for themselves. That would be, yeah. I guess, an awesome thing. No, that's something I was going to touch on before, too, when I think you said we haven't sort of met each other and, like, how? Because we're into all the same things. We've been to all the same events. Like, what's going on? Like, how good's the internet? Like, I mean it can be used so badly and that I, if I could turn it off, but things like meeting people over the internet and connect with them, talk with them forever. And then when you catch up with them, mates, like I go to car shows and your best mates with that person, you've met them, you see them twice a year. Like, <laughs> But the, the funniest thing is it's like you've spoke to them or pretty much seen them the day before. I'm like, it's not awkward. Sometimes, yeah when you do meet someone for the first time, you never get the chance to, I guess, talk to them. It is a little bit awkward, but because we've had this interaction, we've been chatting over Facebook and obviously now as well. Next time we see each other, yeah, we'll be like, we've been best mates. That'd be sick. No, definitely. That's, yeah, it's really thrown in on those little, I mean, so niche uh, interests, I guess, which is sick. Yeah, hundred percent. You did say you did a little bit of writing. What kind of writing do you actually do or used to do? If you still do. Bit of a story, that one. Oh, but, here we um, go. I like stories. Grew up riding BMX, racing, doing all that. Did uh, like stays and that. Uh, yeah. State and nationals and all that sort of jazz. Didn't quite make it overseas or anything like that. But yeah, I had a, had a fair crack when I was younger. And then just sort of lost the competitive edge. I was like, look, I'm sick of eight people over a finish line. Like, Let's have fun. And then sort of like the skate park scene crept in. Sort of did a lot of that, like hanging out with the Melbourne boys and when Ramp Fest was like built. Um, yeah, sort of got in with that little crew, like the and a couple of Nitro guys, like used to and look, I was nothing to compare to, but like it was like such a sick scene back in the day. And um, that sort of led to downhill mountain bike. Because I always just rode a hardtail rather than bare mac. And then, yeah, the downhill took me to Canada. And that's where it sort of all ended. <laughs> oh, so, shit. Yeah, I had a big, big fall. But, yeah, sort of travelled to New Zealand and Canada. Did a heap. Not so much 
racing or anything. Did a course in Canada and was going to coach. And, yeah, I had my visa sorted and everything. Like, I going to shack up with a Canadian lady and get my residence, divorce her and live there forever. <laughs> <laughs> but I did move into Canada and, yeah, sort of stay in there. But come off, come off the bike and did some leading, cracked rib, all that sort of stuff. And that cut me two-year visa to two months. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. All right. So, back into it yeah sort of found the passions and other hobbies and met people and you know plans changed like yeah. yeah yeah but you still have that passion to get back on on the two wheels i bought a road bike and it's hasn't seen much road <laughs> <laughs> don't get the bike <laughs> yes you don't i must say I, I, i'm in the same position as you um a lot of riding when I was younger, and then obviously things change, people come into our lives, um, and then the bike sort of, sort of sits away and it gets stuck in the shed. Um, last weekend, when was it? Yeah, uh, Hall the Halloween jam that I went to. Yeah. Went out there, and there was a heap of people that I used to ride with um, that were there riding, still riding, and they were like, are you going to bring the bike? I had my bike with me, and they are like, are you going to start riding, come back, come do some jumps with us? And I had the camera gear, and I'm like, I would love to, but I don't remember the last time I actually threw the bars. So I'm going to give this one a miss. Um, I didn't want to hurt myself. So, yeah, that'll be sick. Because there is some awesome trails down your way, isn't there, uh, for mountain bike riding? Oh, we've got Thunder Point, which is epic for, uh, yeah, like, sort of enduro. Excuse me. Uh, but, yeah, I... I, I that's a has I'll, I'll put the pain on that. <laughs> yeah, if we, if, I feel like if we, if we got the chance to uh, maybe live our life again and really dive into some of this stuff that we used to do and get better at those skills, we'd definitely do it. But as you can hear, sorry, <laughs> he's, he's got something and he's trying to rip it up. So hopefully he can rip that up and just leave me alone. Um, yeah, I really hope that. Uh, we could get back into that stuff. What are you doing? Stop. Sorry, I'm so sorry, dude. He's uh, found himself a Christmas box. He's yeah. ripping it up. Give it's me up. He's, look, this is what he found. This is what I'm dealing with. <laughs> I don't know where he found it from. I have no idea where it is from. Play something else. <laughs> it's, what if it's on the ground? It's just it is. It is for the taking. But um, four wheel drive plan related stuff, mountain bike. BMX, would you consider ever doing a combination where we go away camping for driving and then we set the cars up somewhere and we do a trip riding? Would you ever consider something like that? Absolutely. Let's do it. I think, I think that would be... A... A, it'd be... I had a name for it. Oh, yeah. Existed. So, yes. I had this little idea at Brain Spark. It was like everybody that you've had on for the year, end of year, for like central. I was watching a paid episode on today, and before Fink every year, that and that, yeah. <laughs> That would be sick. I think you I, need to get better. I, I actually never thought that far into the future where I would actually have so many people that would actually want to have a chat with me. So I'm really happy that you actually joined me for this one as well. So something like that could be maybe a goer where we could actually we, yeah, <laughs> go to an event that we're all there and we get to do an existence catch up with all the people that I've actually had the chat, chance to have a chat to or, or if not, that haven't had the chance I to have on to these these live chats and just chat in general um, to meet some new faces because like this was one of the things that I wanted to do like I would like to, wanted to meet you in person as we have so much in bloody common we live not that far away from each other and it's just so weird that we've never bumped into each other and now we have the chance to actually have a chat that all these things are sort of like linking up and 
Yeah, it works out sick. <laughs> Shit going. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. No, um, absolutely. With your trailer, you did you build that yourself, the whole thing, or um, how did you get that idea of doing something like that? Yeah, so it was basically I bought it as a flatbed. It's buried from Winchester. <laughs> yeah. I want it back with his yeah. Um, yeah, he's never used it. Like, right, okay, I'll grab it. Like that. And, That's awesome. Yeah, that, okay, like, nothing was there. Yeah. So, tell them what they've yeah, got. can try them. So, the suspension. Yeah. Pr- <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know the feeling. Yeah, yeah. But you, you've got it dialed in now? Yeah, getting there. I haven't done any like electrical in it or anything like that. But yeah, we've got a functioning water tank. Um, yeah, like a little slide out kitchen. Um, it's basically storage, but it's everything we need. And I'm just going to do like a little uh, pop up shower tent and stuff like that. Like, yeah, a very simple homemade version of probably the elaborate camp trailers you get from us. Yeah, uh, yeah, but it's functional. It's it's something that you know will work when you want to use it and, and work to its full potential. Absolutely. And I can take the missus and the dogs camping and we just need to hook it up and go. Like That's awesome. And I was sort of to um, take on the tough tracks. Like I wanted to be able to do like a rocky hill climb or some bog holes or whatever. And sort of they're the only trips I've taken it on so far. So it's had a bit of r and yeah, it's held up working yet so yeah so I, I did see a couple of trips that you did do and i was like man this guy he's just throwing that trail around left right and center and it's and it's holding up i don't i don't know about mine would but yeah did an awesome job so far <laughs> uh, i had this grand plan like this old trailer i had i had a stretched ranger and um yeah so i built a camp trailer out of uh, a ranger tub and it was so top heavy hey like because uh, i built it tall like me ranger and you all know how, how big they can go. And so it was huge. And then, like, you get it on this mad angle, and the thing, it just start like, rocking it. Like, I was like... Yes, I, I know that feeling um, with mine, because it's so top-heavy, because it's yep. more patrol than it is um, trailer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, you get to one of those points, you're like, oh, surely be pushing this, and it's sort of like, Ooh, and it just starts leaning. I'm like, shit, someone get out. <laughs> You'd be uh, you'd be pretty confident with yours, whatever angle of the cars or the trailer is not going to go any further. So, <laughs> yeah, it is like that. Uh, weight distribution, I guess, like center of gravity in that. It knows where gravity is, and it's definitely going to be over on its side. <laughs> yeah, not down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly right, exactly right. Um, thank you very much for actually joining me today, dude. I really appreciate you getting the chance to set some time aside and, and actually us just having a chat. And it's good to hear that you are still working through lockdowns and you still had the chance to do the things that you love doing because I know there's a lot of people out there like myself that didn't get the chance throughout this lockdown and did, fuck all, really, excuse my French, and we just had to sit inside every day and watch yeah. the nice sunshine. <laughs> I would have gone yes. to Couldn't imagine. It was, yeah, sad time. So... I, I really appreciate you, you to, to set aside time. Yeah. And now I get to know a bit more about you. So now we can actually, like I said, tee up this mountain bike, four wheel drive, content creating, whatever it could be. I don't really care. Writing sounds good better to me anyway. <laughs> yeah. Like we've, yeah. Like, like we both know, we've spoken through messages and stuff. But uh, yeah, it's good to actually sit down and have a chat. Like, yeah, get so much more out in such a small period of time. People need to do it more often. I think that's the thing as well, dude. Um, sometimes it is hard to try and text someone that we don't talk to anymore, but just yeah. that quick message of, hey, dude, how are you? Or, hey, friend, homie, whatever whatever you what want to say, um, helps the person on the other side of the text to say, shit, I do have some friends that actually want to chat to me. That's really good. Um, and these times, not just COVID, just in general, mental health is a big thing. And um, we all have sad, down, down really down times. And... A friend is sometimes all we need to lean on, really. 
Absolutely, yeah. You're not wrong. Even, yeah, people you look up to, the people that are happy in front of camera every day, they have shitty times too. They have shit days. They have this. But, yeah, I mean, it's, it's that one person that reaches out and says, G'day, how are you? They're the people that make the difference. And I think people, yeah, as we know, need to do it more often. It's all hiding behind a keyboard now. But, no, it's very sick. Very true. Such a great night. Yeah, very true, dude. Very wise words right there, I must say. But we'll keep this one nice and short and sweet. We've uh, talked a lot of shit, a lot of forward driving, mini trucking, mountain bike riding, and I must say some awesome stuff for both of us in the future if we get the chance, I'm assuming we will, to catch up. Absolutely. Next time I'm up in the big smoke, I'll hit you up. Hell yeah, dude. Sounds good. Until then, enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I'll see you around. Sounds good, man. Cheers.